Welcome back to Dexter Plays Vintage Story. Welcome back to Vintage Story. We are out here uh, at the base. I just picked up Bismuth yesterday. Today, well, we're going to go do some more stuff. I need to go get some copper. I don't have enough copper to make all of the bronze that I want, so we're going to go ahead and do that. After we get some of the copper for bronze, we will smith up a bronze pickaxe and go after some boron to get ourselves set up to finish off the whole uh, leatherworking thing. That is our next step. Okay, you have marked here. Aha, we have marked here goodies. All right, well, let's pick these goodies up. You, 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 and you and you. Which means I probably have to go down here. Um, I don't have enough. I don't have letters. Bummer. Bummer days. Well, there's one way to take care of that. We'll create ourselves a stepping stone out. There, I can get out. There's some more. Wow. Alright, hold on. Let's clear out all this stuff so we can see what the hell's going on in here. Clearly a lot, right? Just for reference, if you're uh, looking to be very conservative with your equipment, um, don't use your axe. But if you want speed, use your axe. It goes faster. Alright, so the sticks will give me some uh, stuff for ladders too. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, so. I think we have... Go down here. I think we have stuff this way. Now, I, I could do the whole node thing. I don't think I need to. Let me, uh, let me dig to find this copper. Bingo. <laughs> no cut required. Poor. Hmm, it's too thick. That's good. And this will give us all the copper we need for bismuth. Let me go ahead and craft this or cut this stuff up, get it out of here, and then we'll come back. Okay, I finished uh, doing all the mining down here, and I have 4 and 64. So I got 68 uh, chunks of copper. That should do me for now to get the bronze. I can certainly come back and go for more later, but I, uh, I'm i not going to deal with it just the moment. We'll come back and, like I said, deal with uh, more copy later. In fact, I probably should um, delete this because I already took it out. So that's copper marked by surface veins or surface nuggets. Whenever you find nuggets on the surface, you're guaranteed to find the same substance below. So if you find copper on top, you will find copper below. All right. Now that we've done that, let's uh, let's do a few things. One, as a, I also got enough flax because of stuff happening out in the in the garden to make another sack. So let's make another sack. We will chop that up for cocktails. Thank you. Uh, I need another uh, X. Grab that. Put the cattails away. All right, and then let's go chop up the ore that we have. All right, I'm going to put away this uh, mushroom. Uh, 
Do I have any mushrooms in there? I do have some mushrooms in there. They last forever, so that's good. And um, I suppose I should probably eat something. No. Okay, now that we've got our food taken care of, let's go ahead and uh, do some smelting. So we've got, uh, we're going to take a crucible. We'll take the rest of that and we'll take the rest of the bismuth. What is that? A piece of zinc, which I don't need at the moment. All right. So if I uh, throw this on there, it'll give me this here. So if I look at it, I should be able to find... You're not going to show me bronze? Okay, let me do let me do it the hard way. I'm going to want bismuth bronze. So I think I'll go ahead and type that in there. What's up? Bismuth bronze. Bismuth bronze ingot. So I need some zinc. I need some copper. I need some bismuth. I need zinc on that, huh? Damn it. Bronze. Ingot. Regular bronze ingot. Can I do a so with tin? And black. Black bronze comes from gold, silver, and copper. And tin bronze comes from tin. Well, crap. Guess I'm not doing bronze yet. I do have that. I wonder how much this nugget would be worth. It's worth only five zinc. So to be five, five, what, 30? Can I do it? Let us see, shall we? Not gonna let me do it that way, okay, here, that that I saw it 25 units so I need three more of that before I can actually do it all right not happening yet <laughs> what else do I have in here that I can't don't need the black hole in there. Anvil mold, I can take out as well. Put those over into the corner here. Put the black hole in with the regular coal. All right. Well, I'm back out again. Now I got to find tin or or zinc. Man. So we already know we're looking for tin. It's fair light. Right. All right, well, I guess we're going back up. Let's go ahead and grab. I'm getting kind of thin on these two items, so let's go grab both of those. And now we're off to look for tin because we don't have enough with the bra with the uh, bismuth. I need some, some tin. 
I like the fact there's multiple ways to create bronze, but uh, the whole Bronze Age thing can be really a pain in the butt because you have to go find all of the goodies for it. All right. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to dig. And we will see what we see. Welcome back into the mine. We are uh, over here where we did the castorite mine. Where am I here? Here we are. This is where we found the uh, bismuth here. We're going to keep going down to look for castorite. So we'll see how we do that. And also, copper would not be bad to find either. So we'll see if that happens. So I'm going to go down 12 more and dig. I didn't actually go out either way on the other one, did I? I should probably do that. Traces of Casserite. All right, well, we got it. So let's uh, dig out. So I'm going to do my fans and I'll be back. All right, well, we're back. I uh, found some Casserite over there. Before I get to doing that, I want to stuff that. Come, over, come around the corner. Am I allowed to? No, I didn't pick up all those pieces. I found in one of my veins this. So let's take a peek and see what we can find. Oh, I found more Casserite. Nice. Alrighty. And this is actually a good example of a uh, layered. So again, in Vintage Story, the ground is created from the bottom up. There's usually three layers. So we're going to have basalt. It looks like conglomerate will be something further down that is uh, going to be a more igneous rock. And then, of course, at the top, there's usually dirt and or sand. Um, we found some casserite up here. So let's go take a look at that. This is what the, the tin ore is going to look like. So we are going to go ahead and harvest up some tin ore. And that will give us our bronze. Not to be stopped. I can't be stopped. Well, let, let's not tempt the game. Because <laughs> clearly there are times when I can be um, at least slowed down. I don't want to be slowed down. All right. Uh, more cast right. So the, uh, the, the minerals are going to be laid out in a disc shape, and then they're going to be um, deformed according to the landscape up above, okay? So if it drops down one up there above this, it'll drop down one down here. Always nice to find your castorite. So I have two different veins of castorite down here. There's this, this one, and then there's the one I found doing one of my fans. And I didn't even do a node search yet, so it, there could be more. Could be. Um, I'm going to dig down here, and uh, yeah, so I can see a little bit more what's going in these directions. So it's this way. All right, then over here, I put a thing down to show me where there was another one. So let's uh, see where that goes. And we have just finished that. So let's see, how much do I have? I have, oh, and it's medium too. That's good. Quite a bit there. I have, uh, what, 60, 74? 74 points, or 74 blocks of it. So that'll keep me in tin for a while. So I have tin, bismuth, and copper. Now we head back and do what we we're going to do in the first place. Make some, make some, uh, make some bronze. All right, we've arrived home. Let's see what I've got in my inventory that I need to get rid of. A few things. Uh, I could probably eat my blueberries that I harvested along the way. That rabbit was trying to get into my food. You damn rabbit. I did go through and harvest all these uh, berries and stuck them downstairs. Almost all of them. Nom nom. Nom nom. All right. What else do I have here? I have uh, basalt. 
I think I'm all out of space for basalt. I pretty much am. So that probably means the rest of this needs to get tossed. We're going to be able to use basalt slabs here in the future, but at the moment, there's no point in saving stuff that I'm not going to be using. Okay. And we have... Hammer. There's Casserite. There's... Uh, Bismuth and Kappa. All right, I'm going to want to do <coughs> at least two axes. So I need 200 and is there anything else bismuth I need? Not really. Well, I'm going to need some coal for this. All right. I think it's four and four, right? Oh, it's just the tin. Right, 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 right. I don't need the bismuth on this one because I got the tin. 220 units. Let me, let me look at the percentages again. Tin, bronze, ingots. 8% to, to 92 so that's literally 8 to 92. Eight. 36. 92. There's 500 units of bismuth bronze. Um, Two axes and three ingots. Oh. What if I take six out of this? Nope. So sixteen out. What 400? There's 400. Okay. And then we will throw in um, the coal. Eight. All right. Saw some bismuth in my hands. I'm going to take out the copper because I'm probably put in some bismuth. I mean, I'm going to make some copper stuff because some of the copper tools I'm going to want to keep. So if we look at our tools, let's look at pickaxes, for example. So the copper pickaxe is going to have a durability and a mining speed. So for example, if we look at this, let's focus on ore. It's got a four times ore with 300 durability. Or if I look at like a flint pickaxe, I don't have one. If I look at uh, tin bronze, I got 450 and it's by six mining speed. So if you look at that, that's a 50% increase in the ore that you're, you're going through in speed. That means there's a 50% increase in the durability over the previous one. And so we're at like 675 instead of 300. So um, very much worth upgrades if you can do it. You can see 500 here with the ore being a hair bit slower. Then you get gold, silver, iron. 7.5 and 1,000. And then steel being a 9 by 2,500. Right? 
So I'm going to want to do some pickaxes and, and bronze. Uh, there's other things I could do in bronze too. You know, you could do a saw in tin bronze, which will give you what uh, cutting wood four times uh, four point six by four hundred, where regular bronze or copper is four by two fifty. So upgrading your gear uh, is certainly worthwhile unless you have a shortage. If you have a shortage, then focus on what you need to keep the, the roll the, the ball rolling here, and that's your pickaxe. You need to make sure your pickaxe is always the most current of your metals. Everything else can suffer. We're still cruising. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and put these things away over there. Um, how are you doing on a coal? You're doing fine on coal. I don't think I'm doing this right away, so I'll put that away. Coming up to 24. So I'm going to do what? Pickaxe, pickaxe, and then some ingots. Could do a sword. I wonder what a sword looks like here. Let's let's take a peek at swords. Sword. So right now I have a copper, which is minus three at two fifty. Tim bronze would be minus three point five at four fifty. So definitely a better weapon. So maybe I'll do that too. I'll do a a, a tin bronze sword along with the two, and then I'll have what one left over for an ingot. There's my tin bronze uh, pickaxe, my tin bronze pickaxe, um, and then a tin bronze. I'm going to do two of these. Okay. So the next thing to look at while we're, we're cooking that stuff up, let's go ahead and put this thing back on. And how am I doing here? 640, but 600. There we go. No, I should do 400. So I have enough for 400. There's 400. All right, put that away. No, damn it, you won't let me put it. Okay, rough paradise and emerald come out because those are going to be things that we need elsewhere. Um, I'll stick those up here in the corner. Cool. Okay, so we've got that going. So let's take a look. The next thing I'm going to have to worry about, which is going to be upgrading my anvil. My anvil. So I want a tin bronze anvil. Metal molding. Uh, so is this a mold? Take the crucible out of the pit fire, hold over a mold, and press, yeah, 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 it's a mold. So I can do the anvil mold for you. Nice. And that's going to be 1,200, no, 900? 900 units of bismuth rods, or for timber rods. How are we doing here? 943, 939 degrees. That's going to heat up faster than this stuff is. Cool it off. <laughs> All right. Well, we've done bronze. We've got our first uh, bronze pickaxe, which will get us over to the boron, which we'll do next round. But um, this is what the, the important thing is. So we went and we found cassarite. We went and we found bismuth. We could have found zinc to mix with the bismuth. To make bismuth bronze but we got lucky we found the zinc and so with the zinc we made zinc bronze either way bronze is bronze pretty much you are not done there we go um bronze is going to be bronze so we'll be able to to mine everything that is a tier three which includes boron and uh we will also be able to mine everything else that we would want to do quicker as well so that will be helpful um, i'm going to start stacking up these uh these molds so i'm going to leave a little walk space through here 
I've already got the uh, copper going. I'm going to make a, a bronze stack. Might do bismuth and tin stacks so I can actually start doing things by the uh, ingot instead of by the nugget if I want to. But that'll come up next. Do I have anything left here that I want to deal with? No, I don't. I, I is a happy camper. Thank you for joining me. And hopefully that'll help you with your bronze. Uh, next episode, we're going to be doing leather working in our leather station. Come back and join me. Ooh, ooh, look, I got the uh, weak tannin, and I want to do strong tannin now. So we'll get that cooking too for next episode. Take care. Bye bye. shadows in the corners of your mind I go with the windows I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild whispering the name no I can't be tamed my heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone I'm, a, I'm alone with I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a.